Good morning. How's it going? Uh, sorry about that. So uh, I've just, uh, yeah, my fault. I've moved house. I have uh, new routers, new internet, stuff like that, and it's a bit of a mess at the minute. It's not a, it's not a good enough. But uh, grr, we're back here. So uh, let me uh, reiterate the rules again. Um, we take uh, the the biggest match of the weekend. So it's uh, Liverpool are taking on Spurs at Anfield, and we pick our best starting eleven of the two squads. So the rules are simple, no injured or suspended players. And uh, yeah, let's just go back to the very beginning then. Sorry, lads. Uh, happy transfer deadline day. Hey, happy transfer deadline day to you too. Yeah, indeed. Uh, um, and, uh, yeah, sure, look, we'll have to delete the video. So I'll delete it, yeah. Who do you want West Ham to uh, sign? Uh, personally, um, Anyone, we need a couple of, a couple of bodies in. Uh, rumors are Dendonka and uh, that Krasnodar Russian guy, um, Smolov. Um, the Russian, Smolov. The Russian, the Russian baby baby baby. apparently so. It um, lo looks like we're getting rid of Andre Ayew as well, potentially to Swansea. Um, I don't know how much for, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's depressing times to be a West Ham fan at the minute. I'm not, not too overly joyed about what's going on with the owners and stuff. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm not yeah, match last night. yeah, I was at the match last night. Uh, good, good, solid point. Fair result, yeah. I think. I th don't think either team deserved to win it. Um, so yeah, I'll take the point. Dan, who do you want at Birmingham? A player. <laughs> we haven't signed anyone this window. We've just uh, got rid of players. Um, we're a bit short. Um, if Sam Gallagher or Jack McGomey gets injured, we're, we're buggered up front. So. AC forward or a ball playing central midfielder, please. Um, we're supposed to be, uh, we're linked with Casey Palmer uh, on loan from Chelsea. He was at Huddersfield for 18 months, got injured, couldn't get back in the team, back at Chelsea now. Right kind of player for us, whether he comes remains to be seen. And uh, to the Liverpool board, who I know listen every week, please, goalkeeper, any goalkeeper. And 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 we've got what what they have at the minute. Get a sack of spuds, or two sacks of spuds, and just put them on the corner or something. <sighs> Although, in fairness, I was watching the match last night, and Carries he made a couple of decent saves when it was at nil nil. Uh, he didn't have a lot to do really after that, but um, he didn't have the game Petr Cech did have, uh, had last night. Petr Cech was awful. Scary me, I saw that. Oh. So there was you he go. Bad? No, I didn't see, I didn't see the Arsenal highlights. Was he bad, yeah? Yeah, he gave Swansea their second goal. Yeah. Literally gave him the second goal. Bad for him. Uh, who's their backup? Oh, Spina, isn't it? Spina, yeah. yeah. He's and he's Emiliano he's Martinez, who's currently yeah. on loan at Getafe. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, <laughs> I wonder what would it take for to drop? Check and bring in Ospina because he, he plays Ospina in the oh, in the oh. Europa League, doesn't he? And the Carlin Cup. Yeah, um, I think there's a lot of talk last night after Petr Cech made some well bad, really bad mistakes. I think there's a lot of talk that Arsenal need to get a new goalkeeper in the summer. Same with Liverpool. I think both do um, if they're going to press on and, and compete. But who's out there? That's the question. Yeah. Got a summer AC Milan. I can't. Every time I see his name, that's what I think. Donna Summer. <laughs> yeah, he's, I heard he's. Did he get rid of his agent? Because his agent is that super agent that everyone hates. Pogba's agent. What's his name? Mina, Mini, Mina yeah, Raiola. Yeah, that's him, man. That's him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought everyone hated the other guy, the uh, Tevez Mascherano agent. That uh, Kia Jarubchan. That's it, yeah. And then there's Jorge Mendes as well, who is just the spawn yeah. of Satan. You know, although he'll sue us for that, probably. <laughs> I don't think there's yeah, any likable agents out there, to be fair. No, I suppose. But I heard Donnarumma was, was getting rid of him because he was just causing so much uh, hassle in his life. And there was all this stuff about Donnarumma's brother uh, being signed. And Milan had to come out and say, no, look, actually, we did want him. And it's a mess, you know. It's a mess. He's a brilliant player. Yeah, mm. uh, I presume. But I, I presume... As soon as Buffon hangs up his gloves, then Juventus are going to be all over him. I don't know, you know, I think Juventus have come out and said that Chesney is good enough to take the reins from Buffon. Yeah, but you don't believe them, though, do you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's done well. I, I, 
Uh, he doesn't get tested most weeks, to be fair. But yeah, it's it's like uh, what's it's like that record that that Buffon broke about two seasons ago. Um, oh, this is killing me now. Uh, AC Milan goalkeeper during Spalletti's Spalletti's days, he had this like long. 15 game or 18 game run where he didn't concede the goal but the thing was he wasn't that good a goalie he was just playing behind Maldini and Baresi and all these Brood Hullet and all these amazing players you know <laughs> like Chesney it's just the event it's, it's, it's mental you know what the hell is he doing there um anyway let's get on to our uh, combined 11 podcast yes. um we there's no point really discussing the goalkeeper because we've all agreed on this, so we've all gone for Hugo Lloris. It's um, fairly obvious. Yeah. But lads, are we sure he's going to play? No. Well, it's, it, he he has been injured, so it could be Michelle Vaughan. But um, mm. if he doesn't play, Michelle Vaughan's better than the other two. Uh, better than the uh, Liverpool keepers. Like Paolo Gazzaniga is better than Minion yeah. and Carius, I think. So yeah, <laughs> put together. <laughs> I I I give Emery Chan a, a chance in gold before I before I put Minule and, and Harry Kane and, is better in gold than Carrius or Minule. <laughs> <laughs> right then, let's move on to our defence. Dan, we'll start with you. Who who have you gone in your back four? Uh, Serge Aurier, um, Virgil Van Dijk, um, Alba Alderweireld, and uh, Robertson left back. Okay, Martin, give me yours. Very similar. Uh, Kieran Trippier at right back, uh, and the same Van Dyke, Alderweireld in the centre, and Andrew Robertson on the left. Well, I'll give you mine. I've gone. I've gone. Joe Gomez, and uh, Vertonghen. <laughs> Vertonghen, Van Dyke, and Ben Davis. So who will we agreed on here? We're agreed on Van Dyke. We all have Van Dyke. We do. Um, why did I go with Vertonghen instead of Al- Alderweire? There was a reason. Isn't as because I read Alderweire might be a doubt, but yeah, there is that. He might, might be. Sure. Mm. Is that the only reason you've discounted him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather have I'd rather have Toby. All right, because like I mean, who doesn't like who doesn't like a man called Toby? You know. You said both come Robertson. I've gone with Ben. So what's what? What? Why have you been impressed with uh, with with Andy Robertson, uh, Dan? I think he's been great since he's come into the Liverpool side. You know, uh, Moreno got injured. They, they were forced to pick Robertson. I didn't think um, Pop's going to go for him. And he's been brilliant. And then Moreno Moreno came back for a cup game, didn't he? Um, um, I'm, not, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sold on Ben Davis. Um, of course, Danny Rose is injured at the moment. I think Davis is all right, but. I think Robertson's a better player. Yeah, I agree. That's why I'm going for Robertson. I think, uh, yeah, so, Dan, not convinced on Davis. I don't know if he, he doesn't doesn't seem to put in uh, the performances consistently. Whereas Robertson, last season, I would have said, you know, um, I, well, even at the start of the season, I would have said Robertson probably not, but he's he's come on leaps and bounds in the last month or two, and uh, just looks very consistent, good passer. Great engine as well, and yeah, I think Liverpool may have found their their left back may have solved their problem. Quite mm, by accident, really, wasn't it? Because he was just signing, wasn't really supposed to do it. But uh, all right, I'm I'm definitely outvoted on that. Then, so we'll put in um, Andy Robertson there, and now we've all gone for a different uh, right back. Uh, we have gone Trippier. Dan, you yeah. went Aurier, and I've done Joe Gomez. So, look, in fairness, I mean, we can get rid of Joe Gomez immediately because he's, he's better as a centre-back anyway, isn't he? So. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think he's a better no, centre-back. Just, he, played, he has played a couple of games there uh, recently, yeah. but I think he is he is a better centre-back. So, uh, right, lads, fight yeah. over this. You need to convince me. Aurier <laughs> uh, is sulky, loves to dive. <laughs> um, no, I, I personally think... Um, for my argument, Trippier, I prefer him going forward. I think he puts in a better ball, and he's, he, he, the key passes that, his play, that he plays is um, a lot better than Aurier. Aurier delivers a ball into the box, but I haven't seen an end product from him as yet. Um, and I also think Trippier is uh, slightly better on the defensive side. I think uh, Aurier can be a bit rash sometimes. Okay. So I went for Aurier for the, the going forward sort of thing. Playing four two three one, two defensive midfielders. Your fullbacks need to get forwards because you've got no real, you've got no uh, wide play in the middle. So you need your fullbacks to get forwards, which is why I like Robertson on the left. 
Aurier um, has got end products. I think he scored this season, scored recently for Spurs, if I remember right. Though. I don't uh, think it's the league, but he's certainly scored for Yeah, was that the def- deflected effort that was going off target? Isn't, isn't it the one, <laughs> isn't, isn't, wasn't this goal the one that was meant to be a cross? <laughs> oh, that one, yeah, that's it. That was <laughs> yeah, it. He, <laughs> turned, yeah. he turned around to the crowd yeah. and just kind of went, What's the old game? I think Trippier's got six assists so far this season for Spurs, yeah. which is pretty good. I do, I, I, I do like Trippier, and it was a tough choice. Um, but I don't know. I, I went through the Arsenal message, uh, sorry, the Spurs message boards. I don't know where Arsenal came from then. I went through the Spurs message boards to see what they would pick um, because the, the Spurs fans know their team better than I do, and everyone was going Aurier. So I assume Aurier is the better player. I'm going with Dan on this, lads. I'm going, oh, with Dan, lads. I'm going with Dan. That was convincing. That was a convincing one there. That's uh, guys, yeah. send us your comments in disgust, please, right now. <laughs> right then. So, uh, why, why, uh, I need to type these down where we're doing. So we're going to goalkeeper, uh, Loris. Uh, our back end. Are you? Are you? You know, you know Virgil Van Dijk, uh, Toby Alba, <laughs> Vial, um, and. <laughs> and Andy Robertson as well. Right, let's just keep, keep a note of this. Thanks for listening to the Pro Tipster Football Show. Check out ProTipster.com where you can earn money by sharing your tips and coupons. Sign up now and get our free daily newsletter where our experts share their tips. Go to ProTipster.com for more details. Let's move on then to our midfield. I think we've all... Who have we all picked in common here? We haven't all picked anyone in common, actually. Uh, Martin, give, give me your your uh, middle two then, please. I've gone for Emre Chan and Eric Dyer. Um, I think I think both are solid. I think both are better than any other player that um, is available in the middle of the park, like you know your Jordan Henderson's, your, your Wine Aldams. Um, Emre Chan. Is he going to stay? Is he going to leave? I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what happens with him today. He scored a cracking goal last night. Uh, Klopp, oh. Klopp said the other day that he's, yeah. he's, he's running down the contract. Interesting. So he's gone. Interesting. Mm. Um, yeah, Liverpool might want to, I don't know, they can't even cash in now, can they? They'll probably, mm. probably get someone, on, yeah. he'll go on a Bosman in the summer, won't he? Um, mm. But yeah, Emery Chan in the middle, I, I just think he's a really solid midfielder and uh, in my opinion, Liverpool are crazy to let him go. Um, but there could be other reasons behind that. And Eric Dyer, always, yeah, I've always been a fan of Eric Dyer. I was a little bit annoyed when Spurs ended up signing him from Sporting Lisbon because I was hoping that we might have had a sniff at that that time. Um, and yeah, he, he's coming into his own now, and I think he suits a centre centre mid role rather than a centre back role. And yeah, lovely pass with the ball, and better than what else is out there? Better than Jordan Henderson for sure. Dan, who have you gone for? I'm with Eric Dyer as well. Same sort of reasons Martin did. Um, I think he's uh, he's really coming to his own. But I also went for Moussa Dembele, who I think is one of the most underrated midfielders in the Premier League. Um, mm. I, I, I do like Emre Chan. I like him a lot. Um, he's got a cracking goal in mid, um, at the weekend, didn't he? Chan? Yeah, he's got a decent goal last night as well. Yeah, that's yeah. As well, yeah. Mm. Was it last night? No, it might have been last night I was referring Yeah, it was last night I was referring okay. to. Yeah. I lost all track of time. <laughs> Lost all track of time, but Dembele, Dembele, I think is a really underrated player. Um, he, he he's one of the people that makes the Spurs midfield tick, and they miss him when he's not playing. Mm. Um, it, it, I, I like Vine Alden, I like Chan. Don't really rate Henderson, but I don't think anyone who's English really does, <laughs> which is amazing because he keeps getting in the England team. Um, but I just wanted to throw Dembele out there because I think he's so underrated, and I think someone should to talk about him and say what a great player he is. Um, wish you'd come to Birmingham City, but hey-ho, um, <laughs> these things... No, it's true. Um, no, back before he went not. to Fulham, before he went to Fulham, we were in uh, talks with him, and the only reason he went to Fulham was because he wanted to live in London. Imagine it. what his life would be like now if he went to Birmingham. Yeah, it probably would have been crap for us. We tried to sign <laughs> Gareth Bale. We tried to sign Gareth Bale when he was going through a nightmarish spell oh, of left-back at Spurs. And he, he, he would <laughs> He wouldn't have been the Gareth Bale of now. He would be no, like, no. it just wouldn't have happened. No, so. 
Um, I'll give you mine. I went for I went for Can in return and and when the album. Um, but um, what would you say if we went Emery Emery Chan and Eric Dyer? Would we all be happy with I'd, that? I'd, I'd go with that. I'd I'd go with that. I've got two votes in there, so yeah, I'm more than happy with that. As you probably know, podcasts still grow by word of mouth. Show your support for the Pro Tipster Football Show by telling your football mad friends all about our podcast, or by leaving a nice review for us on iTunes. Well, let's move on then to our uh, attack attackers. Then, so uh, we have uh, three mid three. Uh, what am I saying here? We have three attacking midfielders and a striker. Uh, Dan, let's start with you, please. Uh, Mo Salah on the right, picks himself. Uh, Deli Ali in the centre, I think, pretty much picks himself as well. Um, Christian Eriksen on the left because I really like Christian Eriksen. Um, I know people might have said Sadio Mane or um, yeah, but but and Eriksen might not be fit as well. But I, I, I just really like him. I, I think he's a really good player, and mm. I think with Salah and Eriksen, you can kind of you could probably they they'd probably move around, they probably switch around, and then. Up front, Harry Kane. That, 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 that no just shouldn't arguments. Yeah. Um, I, I, I've gone for exactly the same four as you. Um, Salah, Ali, Ericsson and Kane, uh, Dan. Because, yeah, same reasons, really. I really like Ericsson as well. I think he does, personally, I think he does more for the team as a whole than, than Mane does. I think Mane's a little bit more selfish. Um, and, I, unfortunately, I just couldn't squeeze... I love Firmino as well. I just can't squeeze him in, especially... Um, with one up front, and I, I'm not sure he's suited in the midfield role. He seems to be thriving up top. Um, and yeah, that, like you say, Salah picks himself. And uh, I, I know, Paddy, that, you know, I know you've not even said your, your four yet, but Christian Eriksen obviously did dip one over on uh, Ireland recently, so I'm not sure you would have gone for him. So. No, no, I have, I have, I have. Oh, you I've have. Gone, I have. Yeah, yeah, I've gone. No, most, most Salah obviously goes in there. Christian Eriksen as well. Um, yeah, no, of course I'd have him in there. He's a brilliant player. Like, why wouldn't he be mad not to have him? Um, <laughs> he doesn't have all that many goals though this season. He's not contributing a lot. And that, that, I, and also I didn't put in Deli Ali. I put in Firmino because, or Firmino because of goals. Uh, Ali, and, and just, and I, I've watched a good bit of Spurs this season, and he's. Actually, we, we spoke about this uh, earlier in the season on another combined podcast when he was going through a, a dip of form and. You know, there were rumours that it was uh, the personal stuff off the pitch and all that kind of stuff, and no one really knows what it is. But he's been quite... And I suppose he's always had an element to his game, but there's a lot more of it this season. He's quite petulant. He's a bit whiny, and he's he's playing kind of mean. You know, he's leaving he's leaving his foot in longer in tackles. He's he's being more aggressive with referees and all like that. And it's just something I don't like. How to explain this? Like sometimes I like that in players, like 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 you know I, I've I've defended Marcus Marcus Rojo to you lads a few times because I like that in mean streak um, in him. Yeah. But, but with a player like Deli Ali, he doesn't need he doesn't need to be mean because he has the skill to be um, to be just this fantastic player. So he doesn't need that element. And I don't and I don't and I can't really figure out why it's creeping into his game so much this season. Is it because his form hasn't been great? Is it because he's not happy with his performances? Is there something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about? And that we shouldn't know about, yeah. to be honest. I mean, a player's personal life is his personal life. I'm, I don't, not, not that I, I, it's not that I don't have empathy or compassion for what's going on. It's just that it's off the field. Um, so that, that's an element of his game that, that I just don't like this season. And, and if, if, if it was this time last season, Deli Ali would be like second on, on my team sheet after Harry Kane. But mm. this season, it's, not, it's just not doing it for me, I'm afraid. I see, I see what you mean. I think uh, last season, a lot of people clocked on to his personality on the pitch. And I think they're, they're taking advantage of that a little bit this season. You know, mm. give him little niggles here and there so that he see if they can get a reaction out of him. Um, he's still young. That's the thing. That's what people don't realise. Um, he's got a good head on his shoulders, though. But, you know, he just needs to channel his aggression a little bit differently, I think. Um, mm. That's my opinion, anyway. <laughs> yeah, and, and say Dan. I don't see Deli Ali just watching this going. <laughs> yeah, Deli Ali wave. Yeah. Um, sorry, Deli. I like you, but sort your head out. You know. 
<laughs> no, I, I, agree. I agree completely. I really do. Um, I, I, I think he has become a bit whiny this season. Mm. Um, speaking of whiny, I don't know if you've just heard the news, but um, Arsenal have had another big piece of news today uh, in the last 10 minutes. Mm. Mesut Ozil has just signed a new deal. Uh, 350 really? grand a week. Nice. Right. Bloody third, hell. Third highest player in England now? Oh, God, no. Second, I think, after Sanchez. Yeah. Second after Sanchez, is it? Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. It's, it's wow. Insane. Fair play to him. You know? Well done, lad. Well done. <laughs> well, right then. So look, crazy uh, money. What we crazy money. That is crazy money, but you know, that's that's capitalism, baby. Um, <laughs> right, what we're going to go with? So we're, going, we're definitely going with so Mo Salah, Ericsson are in. Uh, Harry Kane is our front. Um, how, yeah, are we going with Ali then, lads? Are we? I, I, I'd personally yeah. go with Ali, just that I don't know. I think Firmino doesn't suit a midfield role, in my opinion. And yes, Ali's got some faults, but he's still world class for such yeah. a good kid as well. Firmino's a striker. He's, he's a really good striker as well. He's having a really great spell, but you can't play him in midfield. Mm, you know? Okay, fair enough. Sorry. Sorry. Then. Did you see his? Did you see Firmino's goal last night? I did. I did see yeah. it. Yeah. He looked, he looked away. Oh, I keep he, he looked away. He was going to pass it, and the keeper was just like, oh, oh, you know. Always guard your near post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was the kind, it was the kind of mistake. I saw, I saw some Liverpool fans today on, on, on Twitter saying that if if if, or if a Liverpool goalkeeper had made that kind of mistake, people would have been up in arms. But actually, they've kind of let the Huddersfield keeper away with it. No one's really going mad, you know? <laughs> I know what you mean. Oh, but speaking of goalkeepers, before, at the end of this, make sure you check out Better Check last night. You laugh your head off. <laughs> Good, I will. Uh, right then, let's confirm the team that we're going with. Um, Hugo Lloris in goal, um, Serge Ar- Arier. Um, sorry, Hugo Lloris in goal. Our defence is Serge Arier, uh, Virgil van Dijk, Toby Alderweireld, and Andrew Robinson. Our midfield is Emery Chan, Eric Dyer, uh, Mo Salah, Christian Eriksen, and Deli Ali. And our striker is, of course, Harry Kane. We don't really need to talk about Harry Kane too much because he's just. Awesome, you know. Um, but again, he'll probably play for England in the World Cup and do absolutely nothing. I, I know. I think. I, I, I think England will, will get to the final and then lose on penalties. That's that's what I'm. <laughs> that that's terrible. Anyway. <laughs> I know. I know. It would be <laughs> awful. <laughs> that's actually um, worse than going out in the group stages. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, uh, I was going to say that. Have you looked at this match at all? Are you going to wait for the weekend because Spurs are Spurs are playing Manchester United tonight? Yeah, I, yeah I'm, actually, I'm, I'm going to at least wait till this game's over tonight. Um, you know, could get a couple of niggles, a couple of you know bookings, suspensions, or whatever. So I'm going to I'm going to wait and hold fire on this. Plus, one. Spurs might have a new player as well by the weekend. Yeah, Luke Mora. That is very true. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's supposed to have agreed terms and pass the medical. It's just waiting to be uh, finalised. But twenty five million. PSG, absolute bargain. I think in this day and age, that is a that's a cracking deal. Uh, he'll probably play then on, on Sunday if it's done. Uh, I did look up the odds though. Uh, Liverpool are two at the moment. Uh, the draw three point six five, and Spurs to win three point six. Overs is only over two point five is only one point six two. Over three point five, two point five one. Both teams to score is really tight and horrible as well. It's only one point. Five four lads. I did some uh, digging on stats, and um, I'm going to have to read you this. This is great. Yeah, um, Tottenham haven't Tottenham haven't beaten Liverpool. Sorry, I'll, I'll have a question for you here for bonus points um, for both of you. Okay. So Tottenham haven't beaten Liverpool at Anfield since 2011, thanks to a Van der Vaart early goal and a penalty from Carnation Street's Gail Rodwell, who incidentally has had six surnames in total. Her maiden name being Porter. Boys, for bonus points, can you guess any other? Of Gail Porter's <laughs> married names. Now she's on her fifth That's... marriage in Ireland. In Ireland, we'd call her the village bike. Yeah, Gail Platt. Remember Gail Tilsley. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gail Platt. Wow. Well. Uh, is the oh well done, well done. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can be clear too. One is a uh, one is a. Uh, it's the same surname as like Britain's most hated comedian at the moment. Uh, he has a Michael. Um, McIntyre. Yes, there you go, uh, McIntyre. And the other one is... Yeah, it's one of them. I don't think he's all right. Uh, she was also Hillman. Hillman? Yeah, wow. Hillman, yeah, the serial killer. Or whatever. 
<laughs> Dan, I think we've just unmasked you as a secret Carnation Street fan. Someone with that said it. Lap. <laughs> Someone who's really good at people, really quick. <laughs> Anyways, um, so that was back in 2011. There were heady days for Liverpool. They had uh, Suarez was in the team, but they also had some other cop legends such as Jay Spearing, Massey Rodriguez, Andy Carroll, and David Ungo. Tottenham lined up with Stephen <laughs> Pienaar. He signed for Ross County in this window. Yeah, he has. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, yeah. well, how the mighty have fallen. Uh, Deadly King was wheeled out that day and played the game attached to a zimmer frame. And Brazilian Sandro, he was booked for being a disgrace to Brazilian football. 2011, what that's a long time ago. Sandro, the guy who faked his work permit when he signed for QPR. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, check it out. He, um, wow. When he went to QPR, he, he said he got like an Italian passport and he'd lied. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. That's class. Guys, look, I have to ask for an early prediction. I know, I know Spurs are playing tonight. Liverpool played last night, though. Um, uh, as I said, Spurs haven't won there since 2011. Um, what do you think? Uh, I actually think Spurs might nick it, personally. I, I just don't. I'm not sure Liverpool's defence will cope with Harry Kane and co. So, it'd be a great watch. I think there'll be goals, but I, I personally think Spurs could nick it. Okay, Dan? It, it is going to be goals, because... Um, Mo Salah, he just cannot stop scoring, can he? No, he scored um, a penalty last night, though. I don't know why James Milner didn't take that one. He was on the pitch. But I'm sorry, he hasn't scored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bo- Boring Milner put out a tweet saying that he asked uh, he asked Mo Salah why, why, uh, why he took the penalty, and Mo Salah said he wanted to take the penalty, so okay, that he took the penalty. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Twitter account. Boring James Miller. And, and who else is great on Twitter? Gaza. Paul Gascoigne is on Twitter. And it's, yeah, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's just a ray of sunshine. It's wonderful. It's the opposite yeah. of what Twitter usually is. He's class. Uh, Deluded right, Brendan is good as well. Deluded Brendan. Deluded Brendan is a good one, yeah. Uh, right, lads. So we'll finish up. We've gone on a good bit. Uh, thanks, everyone, for listening. I hope you like this podcast. We're going to uh, – I'll edit this later and put it out on YouTube. And uh, we'll put, put some uh, graphics of, of the team in as well. But, that's pretty much it. Make sure and check out protipster.com where, um, where we'll give you money if you're good at sharing sports tips. And if you're not good at sharing sports tips, check it out anyway because there's loads of people over there who are really, really good at it. Uh, sign up over there. Log in with your Facebook or email and just uh, look for the tips bo- tipsters button. Have a look for some of the best tipsters there and they'll point you in the right direction of what matches you should be paying attention to. All right, then. So that's it from uh, me. Dan and Martin, and we'll be back tomorrow with uh, another podcast where we'll be looking ahead to the Premier League and the best of European football as well. All right, lads, thanks for joining me. See you soon, right? Ciao. Adios. Bye. Thanks for listening, everybody. Don't forget to check out protipster.com, where you can earn money by sharing winning football tips. Check us out on YouTube and Instagram. Our handles there are protipsterglobal, or get in touch on Twitter. Pro Tipster E-N or Pro Tipster I-R-L. Bye.